Hi, this is Martha coming to you with a quick haul from Dutch Paper Crafts and a small project or that I made using the uh, products that I purchased from Dutch Paper Crafts. Um, I, my friend Anita Woods went on vacation and she bought some uh, toppers and that's what I went looking for, toppers. And this is one of the sets that I bought and this one. Now when these are put together, this is one of the ones that Anita bought when she went on her vacation and she brought them back for me. I think they are so cute. So that's what I went on Dutch Paper Crafts looking for and luckily I did find some that I can use. Um, so I bought those two that I just showed you and this one is another landscape topper Looks a little different in person from what I thought it w uh, was going to look like, but I still like it. I bought these. There are 10 in this packet, and I only put together one just to show you what they look like. Okay. Then she had assembled these from her files, and these were a dollar each. And I just thought they were so pretty. I just don't know how I'm going to use them yet, but I really wanted them. Um, this is a stamp, a large stamp. Uh, go, the, they go in the corners of your project. And this is one that I am uh, using on my card that I will show you in just a second. I have a daughter who is a veterinarian, so I bought this little front and back uh, die of dogs. And I do plan to make something for her using that. This is my first time buying some Stamperia uh, paper. Uh, and this one is called Oriental Garden. And it's double-sided paper. Oh. Help if I had the right end when okay. Well okay, let's try this once more right here. Give you a quick flip through. I think this would be so pretty covering a box. I have some little wooden boxes that I might and then here's some toppers that I can add to the toppers that I uh, was looking for when I first went to her site. So this is really pretty. And the ones that I'm going to use in my, that I have used in my card today will be from this set. These are all falling out, but this is the look I was going for. Okay, so I made a card. And I, in addition to using that, uh, those large letter stamps that go in the corner, I use this Marianne die. And I use this Impression Obsession die. And I use this We Are Memory Keepers uh, embossing folder, which is one of my favorite. Okay. And here is my card. You can see the embossing folder in the background. Uh, I used that just to sort of break up some of the white. I wanted it white, but I did want to break it up a little bit. This is the Mary Ann die, and this is the topper that I just purchased from Dutch Paper Crafts. This was the look I was, I see this on Pinterest all the time, and I wanted to make my own. Impression Obsession, and I truly don't, I have so many poinsettia dies, and what I had done was I had made the flowers uh, uh, and had them in a container, and I pulled it out, and I don't know whose die it is, but I did put um, some prills on the inside and now let me show you the stamp this is the stamp we're using the large uh, uh, words and that uh, fit in the corners and I think that's such a unique and uh, way of stamping your cards and I really really like that okay thank you so much for watching if you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. If you are, I appreciate you more than you know. Thanks for watching. Be blessed and ta-da.